tuned in to CPCC Student TV. Take a trip around the world without even leaving campus. We'll show you how events like this help globalize the community. And now with the old and in with the new, we'll give you a breakdown of construction on Central Campus. I'm Alexis Carrasquillo, and you're watching CPCC Student TV. Glad you could join us. CPCC encourages students to take a hands-on approach to learning to prepare them for the workforce. The Emergency Medical Services Program is a prime example. CPCC Student TV's Dylas Lewis spent a day with students. From the uniforms to the equipment, students in this program already look like the professionals in the field. Take a look. Growing up in Boy Scouts, 18-year-old Ryan Gray has always wanted to be able to lend a helping hand and become a first responder. I've always wanted to actually help people. The Emergency Medical Services Program at CPCC allows Gray to take steps to turn his dream into reality. So at this point, his GCS is now diminishing. Program Chair Chris Gaynor has been with the program since it started in 2014. Since then, it's grown from six students to more than 30. The program has grown hugely. Hands-on learning allows students to interact with the material they're learning. Instructor Jillian Vanessendel says this is essential in order for students to be successful in the workplace. Some jobs, you know, you kind of get that foundational education and then you, you learn kind of along the way. Uh, this is not one of those circumstances. Um, they have to master it in here. Instructors simulate realistic situations to prepare students. 80% of what they know and use in the field is learned in the classroom. If you don't have the hands-on experience, you have no concept of what to do when an actual person is bleeding on the ground. Teamwork also plays a big role in the program. Students come in in crews of two or three and assess a patient, work together, come up with a plan. Yeah, they, they, they rely on each other. Gray says preparation is key, and it is important to be prepared at all times. Because the EMS responds to everything, it's all unexpected. Working together so closely, students become like a family. I can't get them to shut up. And I describe them at the end of the class, they are one large dysfunctional family. First half of the class is lecture. But everybody's always telling jokes. It's a fun environment. It's energetic. I think it's a very excellent program, the way it is organized and established. And it's a very good community. Gray is just wrapping up his first year in the program and still has a long way to go. But soon, he'll be more than a Boy Scout. He'll be a first responder. Reporting for CPCC Student TV, I'm Dylas Lewis. If you want to learn more about the program, log on to cpcc.edu for enrollment and requirement dates. Engineering students have a new home on Central Campus. The Advanced Technology Center opened its doors last March and is the largest building on campus. The ATC building provides a place for students to get hands-on learning using new technology. Students in the engineering program also have the chance to work with STEM employers in Mecklenburg County. Computer Engineering Technology Instructor Dennis Sleek explains how the new labs will help students. We've been able to really orient it closer because a lot of times we're sharing space, sharing labs, sharing areas for the PLC for that. Now we have separate lab for each of those, and it just, just makes it easier to, to streamline courses and things like that. The credit students earn at CPCC can transfer to a four-year university where they can major in other engineering programs. The feeling around campus is bittersweet as faculty and students prepare for the demolition of several buildings around Central Campus. Starting in the fall of 2018, two extensions of Central High will be torn down. Terra will follow. Demolition of that building will be complete the following semester. Once Terra is demolished, crews will begin tearing down the library, which includes the Pease Annex. Although the buildings will be gone, they won't be forgotten. Journalism Program Chair Elizabeth Rogers reflects on what the Pease Annex brought to campus. You always have that sense of what was and the richness, the tapestry of arts, literature, humanity that came with that particular building and that particular space. Eventually, the theater department and its functions like the art gallery and auditorium moved to a new location. This fall, crews broke ground on a new building located at the corner of Charlottetown Avenue and Fifth Street. The building is expected to open in the fall of 2020. In the spring of 2022, a new library and student success center will replace the Learning Resource Center and Terrell Building. The buildings would be about 300,000 square feet combined and connected to Central High with the Sky Bridge. Sounds like they'll be worth the wait. The new library will include a podcasting studio, study areas, and a student union with more options for food. But before you ask, no, we don't know which restaurants yet. But here's one on-campus dining option you can enjoy now. The Greenway Restaurant offers upscale dining and service. 
advanced culinary students prepare all the food, gaining experience, and college credit. Culinary Arts Program Chair Rob Marilla says working at the restaurant is a requirement for culinary students. Until they get to the Greenway, the classes feed themselves and feed other classes, but they don't actually get to cook for the public or get the, get the plate up experience that we get for serving the Greenway. Even if they know how to cook outside of school, there's a lot that they'll teach you here. The Greenway Restaurant is located on North Kings Drive. For $12, diners can enjoy a three-course lunch. Reservations are required. You can make them online at cpcc.edu. From hands-on learning in the kitchen to hands-on learning in the television studio, CPCC Student TV's Dominic Roundtree takes you behind the scenes or green screen to show you where all the magic happens. In the Broadcasting and Production Technology program, we don't just learn about one area of the industry. Take a look at what we do. The air base is shot right soon. What better way to learn than to be hands-on in production? Just ask Broadcasting and Production Technology student Virginia Barwick. I think that the Broadcast and Production Technology program at CPCC helps students understand a more real-world working environment as opposed to kind of just throwing a bunch of information at you. It's a very hands-on program. That's how this behind-the-scenes segment and the rest of the program you're watching came to be. Even this script that you may not have known I was reading from. All the classes in the BPT program give us an opportunity to put our hands to work and practice what we learn about in class. By the time we graduate, we know how to write scripts from television and film, operate cameras, and direct productions. We work on audio, lighting, and special effects using the same technology the pros use and a green screen. You know, like the one behind Alexis. We love what we do. That's why we're in this program. You can tell the teachers love what they do too. And that makes class even better. The instructors take it seriously. They're gonna challenge you. You're gonna have days where you're gonna feel like, wow, do I really wanna do this? And that means that you really should do it. I always say I'd like my students to be backpack journalists, backpack media makers. That way they have a bunch of tools in their kit that they can choose from. These days you're gonna to need to know how to write, to edit, to shoot, to make sure your sound is great, your lighting is great. And if students can be kind of that full package from the beginning, then I think that they're much more marketable. So next time you're walking around campus and see a BPT student filming, you know why. And watch what you're doing, because you may be on camera. Reporting from CPCC Student TV, I'm Dominique Roundtree. Want to learn more about our program? Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Just search the hashtag BPT at CPCC. Now we have an interview with a very special guest. We're joined with CPCC student Alonzo Conyers. He has been in the study abroad programs and has traveled to many different places. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you've done study abroad with CPCC. Where have you gone? Uh, the first summer I went to Ecuador for three weeks with CPCC. Mm -hmm. And then the second summer, the following summer, I went to Peru. And I wanted to continue my experience abroad, so I went to work an internship in Medellin, Colombia for two months. I got to operate cameras, assist the editor with um, certain projects, and also do field work. What would you say to students who are looking into doing study abroad programs? Is it worth the money? I would definitely say it's worth the money just because of the, experience you, um, the experiences you have. They will be different from anyone else's because they're your own. From your study abroad experiences, you got to go to the Toronto Film Festival. How did that happen? Well, I knew I wanted to stand out from the other people who auditioned for the Toronto Film Festival. So pretty much I made an audition video on top of Machu Picchu. So what's more creative than me sitting on top of Machu Picchu? And obviously from traveling around from Peru to Toronto, you've met so many people. Networking is such a big, important thing in this industry. How would you say that's going to help you in your future careers? I definitely. Um, I say a person needs to be more open and uh, put themselves out there and never be scared to ask someone, hey, how could I get this opportunity or could I possibly come work for you? Or even taking them out to lunch could be just a starter. It's kind of like to open the door. I've met plenty of people while I was in Toronto. I've met executives from Netflix, uh, Lionsgate, and I met the director of Sundance, which is really interesting. Oh, wow. And you would never be able to do that if you never studied abroad with CBCC. Exactly. So what was your most memorable moment from all your travels? My most memorable moment was when I hiked up a mountain in Peru that was snowing. So it was freezing and I did not have any gloves and I had a Moses stick. 
<laughs> and also had a snow beard, which is really crazy. And while at the top of that mountain, I experienced an avalanche, which was insane. And I'd never seen that before because I heard the snow coming down the mountain and I was just like looked over. And my guide is just like, oh, we're fine. And with, a phone, with his phone out, just recording. And I'm just like, okay, so either we're going to be fine or I'm <laughs> documenting my death right now. Should we be watching this or should we be running? Yeah, it's time to go. And if you got to choose where you're going to go next, where would you go? If I got to choose anywhere, I would probably go to Sundance or uh, the Cannes Film Festival in France. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Alonzo, CPCC student. <laughs> Around the world in 80 days, what about in 90 minutes? That's exactly how long it took CPCC students and faculty to experience different cultures thanks to this Sensoria event. important because uh, in our increasingly globalized market economy and, and world, I think we need to prepare all students to uh, be in a global background or a global classroom. And so this is really a celebration of that, it's celebrating the students that are in your class and, and kind of learning from each other from all types of backgrounds. I think it's really important for mostly for students because some students just come to class and go home and then they get to see that there's like this whole, like a lot of students that are diverse and are active and care for the school. Which is an event where students are given the opportunity to present on their country. Not only that, but to let people know about their country. I believe it like shows how everyone being from different walks of life still loves to come together and have a good time. The Around the World event not only brings students together, but allows them to experience different cultures while at the hassle of applying for a passport. The way we connect on campus is different from how we connect off campus with social media. And let's be honest, we all prefer to talk on social media rather than in person. From funny Snapchats to relatable tweets, check out some of this year's top social media moments. This CPCC student, known as Popstar Vibes on Instagram, made sure he packed all his school necessities when the semester started. Pencils, paper, and bread? Nothing like snapping your back-to-school fit with some slices of bread. Did you know CPCC students get to do assignments in a recording studio? Student Lorena Ferreira looks like she was having fun recording a commercial for her instructor, Ms. Danielle Kozer. Even instructor Kozer uses social media to interact with her students. Check this out. Last semester, she used Twitter to have her intro to digital media students decide which pizza to order. And this was part of their final exam. I need to make sure I register for this class. To see more tweets from that class, search the hashtag Kozer's Grade 8 on Twitter and Instagram. Join in on the fun and be part of the conversation. Some ways of doing this are tagging your location on campus or using hashtags. Some of the hashtags are InstaCPCC, CPCC Student Life, or even just CPCC. Shows or movies, comedies or dramas. Entertainment it. trends change constantly, so we set out to see what's popular with students here at CPCC. From the blazing heat of the sun to the heated opinions. Many people may have seemed hesitant at first, but those willing to answer my questions had some strong thoughts to add on to the discussion. Do you prefer movies or television? Movies. Right now, movies, because The Walking Dead's not on. I'll say movies. Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. I've even got a Lord of the Rings tattoo. Oh! I don't watch either of them. <laughs> Hannibal or Silence of the Lambs? Mm, Silence of the Lambs. I don't know these Silence. things. I have a look Silence of the Lambs. What was it? Hannibal? Oh, that's a scary movie. Westworld or The Good, The Bad, The Ugly? The Good, The, good, the Bad, The Ugly. Say it again. <laughs> Westworld or The Good, The Bad, The Ugly? The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Yeah, yeah. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars, holy. I'm not allowed to cuss. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars. The Office or Office Space? The Office. Oh, The Office. The Office. It's not even a question. The Office. The Office. <laughs> Thanks for watching CPCC Student TV. I'm Alexis Carrasquillo. Have a great day. Yeah.